Hi everyone, welcome back to The Chosen One by Ashley. Welcome back to my channel if you do. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you so much for your support. Today's word for tough times is, God said you came too far to give up. Don't do it. It's not worth it. You better than that. You are better than that. I want you to understand that when life weighs on you and it's so heavy, you have to learn how to just Cry it out and get it out, you know, but you don't want to just sit around writing letters and pacing and saying, I can't do this anymore. I'm just quit. I'm just give up. I want to say to you that we all go through things. I go through things. You go through things. Everybody go through things in life, but don't give up. Don't quit because you don't understand where God is taking you. Some things, God is testing your faith. He want to see what you want to do when life get hard. You know, I remember when the Lord was testing me. And, I mean, so much was going on. My health was dropping. You know, people at my job was trying to get me fired. And you know what I did? I prayed. I didn't give up. I didn't let the devil steal my joy. And listen to me. I know we all go through a lot. But giving up is not an option. You understand what I'm saying? You got to stop quitting. I know you may be like, oh, this is too much for me. I cannot do this anymore. I'm doing everything I can. But have you tried to pray? Have you tried to fast? Have you tried to talk to somebody? Have you tried to get some help? You know, some of the things that y'all crying and worrying about, all you need to do is talk to somebody. Get the help that you need. You got these resources. You don't need no medication. And I want to say this to everybody. Stop depending on medication to help you with everything, with your anxiety, with your stress. You need to pray. The Bible says in 1 Peter 5 and 7, cast all your anxieties on me because I care for you. You need to give it to God. Stop depending on medication. Medication ain't doing nothing but making you worse. Some of y'all don't even understand, but I'm telling you, I don't take no medicine at all. I let God heal me. If I have a headache, if, if something is going on with my health, I will pray and fast and cry it out and give it to the Lord. I do not take no medicine. I don't take nothing. I trust God and that's it. You got to stop depending on medicine. Medicine is going to be a lot of y'all downfall. Y'all depend on all these medications to give you strength, to give you the power. No, you better depend on God. When you got ache in your body, I ain't going to lie to you. I remember the first time when I started my period. I Listen, I ain't had no medication. I trust God. God helped me get through that. I'm telling you, you got to learn how to go through things without medication, without, you know, doing all of that and just trust God. The Bible verse I want to read to you is Proverbs 24 and 16, and it reads, even if good people fall seven times, they will get back up. But when trouble strives, strikes the wicked, that's the end of it. I want you to understand the end of them. I want you to understand that God got your back. Okay? God have your back. Listen to the Bible verse. Let me read it again. Proverbs 24 and 16, it reads, Even if, pe listen, even if good people fall seven times, they will get back up. But when trouble strikes the wicked, that's the end of them. I want you to understand. The wicked people ain't even going to get far. Because you know why? God going to take care of his people. Let me tell you this. You fall seven, eight, ten times. You need to get back up. Do what God is telling you to do. And you will eat the good of the land. But if you keep on doing whatever you think that is right, mm -mm, you ain't going to get nowhere but hell. I'm telling you, y'all got to get up. Learn from your mistakes. Get up. And stop allowing people to tell you, oh, that's the right thing. That's the right thing. Do your research. Read the Holy Bible and see what God is saying. You got you to gotta understand. Some of y'all have to understand that 
what is I'm doing? I'm on this earth. And let me tell you this. A lot of people may tell you God is fake. A lot of people may say all this stuff. You got to find out God for yourself. I was in love with Jesus ever since I was a little girl. I fell in love with Jesus since I was a little girl. I knew Jesus since I was a little girl. But I did not get saved until I was 27 years old. I went through some stuff. And I went, you know, I went through a lot. I was going through a lot. And God saved me. Let me tell you, God saved me. And I was, let me tell you, God, if God can save me, God can save you. Your problems is not too hard for God to fix. God had helped David. He had helped so many people that was hard-headed in the Bible. He can help you. I was, I mean, growing up, I was hard-headed. But I gave my life to God and God saved me. So if God can save me, I know he can save you. Ain't nothing too hard for God. So all them problems y'all talking about, God ain't going to save me because I'm a stripper. God ain't going to save me because I did this. I killed somebody. I did something like this in my life. God ain't going to forgive God will forgive you. Okay? Give it on to God, whatever you're going through. And know that he will heal you and deliver you. I love you. Do not give up. Pray about all things. Keep your head up and be strong. God bless you all. Have a great, beautiful day. Take care. Thank you for watching.